All right, let's fix that credit in five minutes. Let's go. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you do? Number one, pull your credit reports. Want something free? Go to annualcreditreport.com. Or you can use Credit Karma. That way you'll have access to TransUnion and Equifax. Mosey alone over to Experian.com and set up an account with them. Now you have access to all three bureaus. Now it's time to review your credit reports. And now it's the time to be embarrassed by the shit you see. Okay? It is what it is at this point. We need the good, the bad, the ugly. So we're looking for late payments, charge-offs, collections, bankruptcies, child support, foreclosures, and any other thing that will contribute to us having a badass credit score, okay? Got late payments and the account is open, let's send a goodwill letter to the original creditor. Let's say the account is closed and we have a few late payments. You still have the option of sending a goodwill letter to the creditor, or you can dispute the late payments directly with the credit bureaus. Now, let's say you got collections. First thing you want to do is send a debt validation letter to the collection agency, okay? Now, once you send that debt validation letter, certified, I might add, if they turn around and validate the debt by sending a court order document or your original contract with the signature along with the letter from the original creditor or whoever stating that you have to pay, then you want to go in and send a pay for deletion letter. If they fail to validate the debt, you want to send a failure to validate letter. And then you want to also notify the credit bureaus of the company of you sending them a debt validation letter and they were unable to validate the debt, now it's time for the debt to be removed, okay? Charge-offs. If your account is still with the original creditor, the best thing that you can do for a charge-off is try to negotiate a settlement with the original creditor, okay? Uh, first things first, if this is a high debt, big debt, you want to start off by looking to see what your statute of limitations is for this debt. Because I would hate for you to go trying to negotiate a settlement on a debt, especially a bigger debt, and then the debt being within the statute of limitations, and then you turn around and get sued. And basically with what the statute of limitations means is the time a company has to legally collect on the debt, meaning they can sue you to collect to collect on this debt. Um, so you you want to be um, knowledgeable about your statute of limitations for whatever debt it is, regardless if it's big or small. Now, if the debt is still with the creditor, you want to negotiate a settlement and you want to send them a pay for deletion letter. OK, now don't do this if you are not in a predicament to be able to pay them if they do accept your offer. Otherwise, you just opened up a can of worms and now they know you got some money or you're thinking about paying this debt. So. Do not do this if you're not in a position to pay. Let's say the debt has been sold to a collection agency. You want to follow all the steps that you would do for a traditional collection. Okay, you want to send them a debt validation letter. If they validate the debt, you want to send them a pay for deletion letter. Okay, once the debt is deleted, you still have the original creditor to deal with. Okay, so then you now have the collection off your report, but the creditor is still reporting. So the only way to do that truthfully is to send them a goodwill letter and see if they would be willing to remove the entire account or reverse the status of the account or to dispute the account directly with the credit bureaus and hope that the creditor does not fight the dispute and just will allow the um, account to be removed. Those are your only options, just being real with you. Unless the account is reporting inaccurately, you spot something that's wrong, but you'll still have to dispute with the bureaus. All right, moving along to bankruptcies. Now with bankruptcies or any public record for that matter, any public record, you wanna find out what the source is. So you wanna find out who's reporting what to the credit bureaus. So you want to send the credit bureaus a method of verification letter, all right? Once the credit bureaus turn around and tell you their method of verification, nine times out of 10 will be Lexis Nexus, what? <laughs> will be Lexis Nexus, um, CoreLogic, SageStream, one of these third party companies. And when you find out who is reporting this information to the credit bureaus, you wanna then go and dispute the information directly with that third party source, okay? And once you get the derogatory item removed with the source, you got that hard um, copy deletion letter, you wanna go back and then dispute directly with the credit bureaus and show them that you got the information deleted from the person that they're claiming that they're verifying the information through. And now you wanna to say to them, if they couldn't verify this item, how are you verifying this item if this was the source? Please delete this shit immediately. Just like that. Shit, say that, all that, cuss words, all that. Put it in the letter. Now I'm just playing, don't do that. Last, increase. 
Now, do not dispute inquiries tied to an open account, okay? Do not do that. If you have fraudulent inquiries, you want to sit, submit an FTC complaint. I have a video walking you through on how to submit an FTC, uh, which is basically identity theft because someone tried to open an account in your name. Now, the only other ways to dispute an inquiry are to contact the credit bureaus directly, contact the company, or to call the credit bureaus. And now, my friends, you fixed your bad credit in five minutes. Peace. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grasslands.